Hi again, I don't know why you keep coming back, but you do, so I must continue to serve the Karens, the Kevins, and their crazy, crazy public freakouts here on The Best Show with your Australian host. Let's get into the clips. Am I avoiding saying the channel's name currently? Yes, because I really would not like YouTube shenanigans to come do their thing anymore. Just leave me alone, please. <laughs> Here we've got a very uh, interesting clip. So according to the information we've gotten from the person who did this recording here, these pe this Karen here is sitting in the emergency lane and she refused to listen to the attendant, you know, do the typical safety babble additional stuff that they do to the people who are sitting in the emergency lane. And so things, of course, escalate when she refused to do that. Apparently, at some point, she, quote, said that I don't care about saving anyone. I'll save myself. I don't know if I believe that. But anyway, things escalate. And here's a clip. A problem. A problem. What's the problem? You are saying you are. We ain't got no problem with that. We understand we got to help people get off the plane and help Betty White. If you something happens. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
on and not act like the entire person you seem to be here, saying you're going to call your attorney for this entire mess, and then getting the entire plane deboarded because you refused to get off by yourself. Why? Are you that is that so entitled that you would rather ruin the day of almost two hundred other people rather than take the brief inconvenience because of your own actions? Seriously? Here's an interesting one. So this Karen is walking around on an Easter Sunday and they see this store open and rather than uh, just mind their own business and move on with their time, they decide to take the time out of their day to go into this store, not to buy anything, but to go off at the people working there for being open on an Easter Sunday because, you know, the big brand store is not open this day. Shown and run. They open? always close on Easter Sunday. Are but they're open. Not? No, that's the that's the that's the small one here. That's still the same brand, isn't it? Well, yeah, it is. <laughs> but what's? No, I know. I'm just anywhere. asking. Yeah. I'm just. I wondered because you're a new business. Yeah. And uh, you know, trying to obviously get the community to use you. But I mean, I'll never come and buy anything from you because you opened on Easter Sunday. Okay. That's uh, how, that's is how it important? It is, I, I do have a question though. Yeah. Is it a certain law? that we must follow. Um, well, I know the biggest right. stops that's, that's the first question. The second question I do have is, ironically, you said the cafe are open yeah. on a Sunday to make money for business, for customers that want to spend time and so forth, right? We're open as an essential shop, essential? as you can see. Yes, we have household DIY. I think the other, the, the big one, the, the Coulston Hardware, yeah. which has got everything, not just cheap tap. They're not open. Okay. And the, the other vape shop is, that's up here, they're open. I just wondered if you'd actually thought about it. I don't All right. want to buy your chicken. Okay, bye. Bye. These people sound like they're in the UK. That might be completely wrong, but I'm assuming it's that just based upon how everyone is talking here. And I don't know their laws too well, but I do understand that Australia's laws with public holidays, stuff like Easter, Easter weekend and stuff like that, is very similar to how the UK does it because our system was mostly adapted from them. But Good Friday is the only day where things are legally required to be closed. And the thing, there are exceptions. Restaurants, the places that serve food and fuel stations and probably a few other smaller things but all in all they have to be closed but every other day no that's not quite the case and even furthermore on that the smaller grocery stores might still be open on good friday because they are allowed to because there's sometimes different rulings for smaller stores. And then furthermore to that, on public holidays, sometimes the big stores won't bother to be open on those public holidays purely because they know that not many tra not much foot traffic will come in and they're not willing to swallow the public holiday staff rate, especially on top of the Sunday staff rate, depending on how they get paid. Whilst this is clearly a store owned by the people, by a few people who are also here working in said store, so it's not like they're paying holiday rates for the additional customers they might see. I don't know, this is like one of those things, just mind your own business. Oh, oh no, they're empty. Unless it's a law they're breaking, why should you care? Just move on with your day. This clip is actually quite interesting to me because it really will come down to the question of who do you actually believe in this story. So basically what's apparently happened prior to the recording here is that on a previous visit, this person behind the camera did not have a good experience with this Taco Bell. So they decided to take the online survey that, you know, is always on the back of those receipts, those damned receipts, went online, you know, took the anonymous survey and made a complaint about that Taco Bell. And apparently, according to the person behind the camera, when she came in to do an online order here, she was standing there waiting. Apparently, this person who's currently on the phone came and approached her and basically tried to poke and query at her about uh, the supposed survey and started going off at her about bad mouthing her on the survey, apparently. And then it escalated to here where now she's being kicked out because of past history. Just came in and ordered so online. No, we don't have a reason right now. But for okay. Previous history, we're not allowed. What to history not, are you referring to? My boss is on the phone if you'd like to speak to her. Yes, yourself. please. I, I, I would love to She's speak right to here. her. Hold on. Let me put your speaker because you're not touching my phone. Go ahead. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Yes. We, we refuse the right to serve you. Okay. Can I, ask, uh, can I ask why? Because there's been consistent issues of you coming into the store causing destruction. And we can go on did, you just, did you just ac ac accuse me of destruction? 
disruption. Oh, disruption. Um, what disruption are you referring to? Are you referring to your manager being very rude and disrespectful and me saying doing a survey about it online and she confronting me? Is that what you're referring to? So what do you want me to do? Do you want me to call the cops? Oh, no, I'll leave. Don't worry. I'll call your corporate and I'll let them know what's going on um, because this is insane. All I do She's is come in here and I order, I order food and I go about my business. I don't do nothing else. I don't do anything else but order my food. This young lady has been disrespectful, rude, and very, very, very ghetto this <laughs> whole entire say time. A word, Molly. <laughs> so, um, and we had she didn't say anything to me. All I did was place my order on the um, on mobile, and I'm here standing waiting for my food. And she came up to me and told me that I'm being disrespect that I I can't be here because of um, I'm banded or something like that. She said that I'm banded because of previous, previous history. history of her. Okay, so you're telling me that her approaching me, a customer, yelling and screaming at me and asking me and questioning me about a survey that is supposed to be yeah, confidential. Not a lot of witness here, is that is that is that legal? That's okay for her to do question a customer about a survey that I did online that is supposed to be confidential. Because that's what started this, her being angry telling me that she gets even with me because I wrote a survey about the bad customer service that's given in this place. What do you want me to do, Molly? She said she was leaving, so... No, I'm leaving. I just want to make sure that you understand that you're putting well, we me know. out we because know. your man, your management is horrible management, extremely ghetto and horrible. So that's up to you if you want to keep that. You have fun with that. Um, I need my refund back, though. Oh, absolutely. Because I paid for my stuff. Yes, she will definitely refund. Yes, absolutely. I'm going to leave because I am way more class than this. This is trifling. I've never met some ghetto with some, I've never in my life. I can I can speak. I'm allowed to speak until you give me my money. Exactly. Just refund me and stay quiet and nice like you're doing right now. Just go ahead, mommy. Because you're acting nice because your manager's on the phone. But you were being so nasty when she was not on this phone. This is... Uh, I don't really know what to think on this one, if I'm 100% honest. Purely because both sides of the story acted both cool, calm, and collected about this entire thing. Like, the person behind the camera wasn't going off at the worker heavily. She was just, like, saying... Just saying her piece to the manager and said that she'll leave once she's done. So I, I do question what actually happened prior to this clip, and I'd assume that the person on the phone probably was thinking the same thing purely because of this wasn't the usual angry, upset, aggressive customer. She was calm. She was cool. She was collected. Yes, yeah, she also called the person a bit ghetto, which... You can have your own opinions on your thoughts on someone doing that, but beyond that, I don't real. I, I wouldn't really throw the person on the camera under the bus much here either. I don't know. I'll put this question to you guys. What? Who do you think's in the right here? What do you think happened? So for some context for this clip here, what happened prior before this is basically the guy recording the clip had found a dog that was running along the street on their own for a little while and decided to take it in and take care of it for about a month and a half, doing the typical things, attempting to get checks done, etc, etc, taking good care of the dog. The other people in this clip are the technical owners of these dogs, so they stole the dog back when the dog was roaming the streets at one point. It's who, you, who and who do you know? Who do you know since you took my dog from across the street? Who do you know? No, I didn't know if I took your dog. Oh yeah, you did. No. That's my dog. No. I've got the pictures a month no. and a half before she showed up she, at your house to prove it. In my name. Now. Yeah, now because you took yeah. her from my no. house after we were taking care of her. I, You're the smart one, by the way. Get your get your woman. She didn't show up at your house. She lives here, and this is a neighborhood where all the dogs walk around. <laughs> She might have said she back there Listen, wood. you guys get to live with me in dog stealing garbage. That's what you get to live with. But Call whoever you. Garbage if you had her for a month and a half and you didn't do that surgery on her. Oh, it was so scheduled terrible. the day before we found where you were. You stupid. Ass. <laughs> you don't know. I mean, you didn't have the money right now. No, we had taken her and she needed to gain weight, and that's what we were doing. She gained four pounds in the three weeks. The first time we took her up there, and the time you took her up there. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I have the pictures. Dummy, dummy. 
No, you're going to hell for the sin of stealing a f***ing dog. What the hell? <laughs> Sure enough, the dog that I had for a month and a half before you took it says otherwise. It's chipped in your name. Chipped in Or what? Yeah, Clark, you better handle it. Sure enough, babe. Tell them to bring everybody they got, too. Put chip, chip, yeah. I don't give a f who Tucker is. I'm just telling you. I don't care who Tucker is. Call Tucker and call Tucker's friends. That's all right. That's all right. Tell him 469, step in his yard. Step on in. I'll be right here all day. That's what's up. And when they step on my property, they're leaking for good. Race to room temperature, baby. I just want to propose this question to you guys first before I say anything else. What are your thoughts on this? Whose side are you on? Who do you think is in the right and who's in the wrong for this one? I personally see it as whilst technically she is or they are the rightful owner of the dog. Clearly there has been some neglect issues for this dog for the dog to be underweight when it was found by the other guy when he took it to the vet and found that they were underweight and that they needed to get the dog need to gain some weight of some forms by eating some pretty decent amount of food and i feel like that it's very clear that these guys don't truly care about the dog considering what it's been a month and a half and assuming that the own the people who found the dog did their due diligence to verify who actually owned the dog as soon as possible i'm not 100 percent sure on that part there but clearly there was some form of neglect at a point before the dog made its way over to the other people. Do they have the right to take their dog back? I mean, technically. Is it right though? Shouldn't they have uh, let the people know? Or I, I don't know. It's very weird thinking about it. it. It's like they can definitely have handled this entire confrontation better. Like, because apparently they found the dog roaming through the streets. So they took it back to their house. So when the other people actually confront them about it, it's like, oh yeah, thank you for taking care of the dog. We... we it, a lot of things happen over the past few months, blah, blah, blah. Like, actually be nice about it rather than whatever the hell this was. Except apparently this restaurant refused to take the order of this group here, but then turns out they took the order of someone else right underneath their nose right after they refused the first person's order. I'm not 100% sure what's actually happening in this clip. I'm just... Here's the clip. She is taking this gentleman's order right now. You, you make sure you record all of that. Mm -hmm. He stated right here to the left. That it's a carry out only because they don't have any staff and she's taking this person for it. I believe Thank you. I don't care. You're taking one person order, you can't refuse I someone else. It. My husband is an attorney. I'll be okay, contacting you. Well, I'm okay with that. But it's black. Right. Right. At the end of the day, have you haven't recorded. You have a black day. Right. And happy holidays to you guys. But what you're doing is wrong. No, you don't, because you're taking someone else order. You're taking someone else order right now, and you refuse to serve. I look like I'm making inquiries, or I look like I'm having a conversation with you. Have a nice night. Ma'am, it was recorded that you just was asking him. No, it's on, it's on it, camera. No, 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 you had asked him, and it was recorded. And it was recording, but it's good okay, though. It's fine. I'm getting all say I had a conversation. Have a good night, ma'am. I'm not going to argue with you. It's not nice to lie. If you would like, have a good night. It's not good to lie. It's not nice to lie. Or That's not how you talk to a customer. It's not a security issue. It's not a security issue. You're taking someone order and she had it recorded and you're going to deliberately lie when recording don't lie. At the end of the day, recording don't lie. But at the end of the day, you would deal with it. It's me talking. I have a funny feeling there might be something else happening for this clip to have occurred in the first place that we're not quite being given the information for, or this restaurant's just racist, but I highly doubt that that's the fact here. Granted, it's entirely possible, but I don't know. This one, I'm, I've am i got nothing on, sorry. Give, what are your thoughts, anyway? Camera here decided to bring in some food from outside the store for their shopping trip for their kids to eat. And when an employee asked her, hey, uh, is that from the shelf up there? 
is that what that's from? At the end of her shopping trip, she goes all mad about it because she assumes that this guy's accusing her of stealing and has a very horrible attitude for it, attempting to get him fired. <laughs> You're asking me. <laughs> Did my daughter steal these tacos? I asked her. She took them. <laughs> Why are you no receipt for that? You don't see any receipt for it. No, she did not take it. <laughs> now what? Okay. Just curse. <laughs> you have a nice day. That's exactly what we have. That's exactly what you have. Can you pay him for me? I'm not saying she stole it. I'm no, you you I came up here and you accused me. I just let him know. I didn't, I didn't say it. I just let him know that. Hey, my daughter brought these Takis in. I don't know if you guys sell these and you walked up. Did she take those from over there? Are you serious right now? I am serious. Just a question. And I answered you no. you said. I answered you no. Okay. Next time use a receipt. Yeah. Before you bring it to the store. I let them know what I was bringing in every time I walk in the store. Sir, I'm sorry to tell you, you just lost your job. Yeah, I got it down. You just lost your job. Did you give her the receipt, sir? Hold on. Can I get his name, please? May I have his name, please? You talk to the manager, he's right here. May I have his name? Yes, I'll talk to you. May I have his name? He just accused my daughter of stealing. Um, Pull up your thing. Oh, yeah, you could put these back, too. Where is it? Where's under that bag? Here, excuse me. Where's my daughter of stealing these talkies? Anytime we walk in the store and we have a drink or we bring in our snacks, I know I'm going to be in here for a while. I always say, hey, we brought these in. I can wait for you guys to go look um, at the footage if you like, but I need him fired now. If not, I am going to be pursuing other actions. He needs to be fired. He had an attitude. He stood right there and accused my daughter of stealing these. And I have it all on camera. Okay. He needs I'm to be going. fired right now. Well, I mean, there's something that I got to check in. Okay, I'm I'll wait. I'll wait, sir. But I cannot find him right on the spot now. Okay, it's I okay. Check the video. I got all the time. I got all day. Okay, perfect. I have all so, day. So, I have the back. What I'm going to do is just, how long ago did you came into the store? I've been in the store for maybe an hour. I've been in here for a long so time. Is it good if we check the cameras and find Yes, yes, sir. Please, that's, that's okay. you can check the cameras. Yes, go ahead. Uh, I'm so upset, okay. and I'm so sorry. I'm upset because this hasn't there. happened to me. I see this all the time on television, but I have never seen this before. And I said I would not come back into Dollar General say, anymore because he, something he, just happened to me. You say he was stealing, or did you how he away? approached me? Yes, he kind of accused me of stealing. He said that from over there, and you should have saw his face. And I said, no, are you sure? Are you sure? And that's when I'm like, oh no, let me pull out my camera. He, yes, he accused my daughter of stealing those Takis. So a dollar bag of Takis. I know, no, sometimes the kids doesn't say they yes. He has a nasty attitude. Yes, yes please. Mean, I'm going to check the camera. Please, you thank you. You like an hour ago? Maybe about an hour I've I'm been in here, yeah. That, okay? Okay, thank you. I'm sorry, but you're a bit of an entitled ass. I'm just being completely honest, like just how you approach this entire situation just shows that you don't really care about this guy or anything along those lines. It's just like, yeah, I can understand it's not fun to be potentially accused of stealing, but he just asks like, hey, is that from, is that our talkies from the shelf over there? Is that what that's from? Like, he cle like from the clip we see here, he's clearly cool, calm, collected, was just asking a simple question, and then once he realized it wasn't point continuing on, he just leaves. He closes the situation, tells you to have a nice day, and moves on. And then you go up to the manager saying that you want him to be fired now, otherwise you're going to take other forms of actions. Man, I'm sorry, but having someone fired affecting their livelihood and potentially multiple other people's living because he may be looking after a daughter, he may be looking after a partner, maybe family, who knows, or because he made a mistake of just asking you, hey, uh, is that from the store here? Or did you bring him in? Like, it's just one of those things. You shouldn't really bring snacks in from outside the store into a store that also sells those snacks because it's only going to cause problems, especially if you don't have a receipt proving that you brought these from elsewhere. It's just one of those things that's always going to cause issues. Like, I know in a lot of shopping centers here in Australia, a lot of the restaurants and all that, like any of the fast food places that sell bottled drinks, they will tend to have, like, letter markings on top of the bottles themselves 
themselves to signify that, hey, this came from a fast food restaurant and does not come from any of the stores. As some form of nice little thing to let you know, hey oh, before you ask, like, hey, yep, nope, this is the little symbol here, it comes from a restaurant, don't worry about the drink I have, it's from elsewhere. It, it I don't know, it's, uh, if I'm completely honest, I feel like the person behind the camera here is a straight up Karen. You may disagree with me, and that's fine. I just feel like the way she handled the situation was just downright horrible. Trying to get someone fired over a mistake like that? Ma'am, really? Is next we've got a semi-respectful Karen who approaching a guy about potential crimes. This your property? Hi, I'm asking you if this is your property. Why are you asking? Because well, it's private property. Because it's private property, so sir. So, are you defacing private property or is this your building? You're free to express your opinion. No, you, we but do. But not on people's property. Okay. Absolutely. Sure. Just respectfully. Sure. So, we're just saying, absolutely, your signs and everything, and that's good. This is not, this is not the way to do it. Okay. It's private property. But if, there, if I did live here and it was my property, this would be absolutely fine. Totally. If it, and you don't know if I live here or if this actually, is my property. We actually do know. That's why we're asking. Oh, really? Because yeah. you live here, right? You no, said so. because we know the person who does live here. Oh, okay. So then um, I suggest you call him or call you. the police. Or uh, call the police. Because you you're accusing me, me of a crime, correct? What I'm asking you is why are you... And I'm not answering you. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. So you, your choices are to call the cops if you believe I'm calling a crime, and I will more than be happy to talk to them. Okay, thank you. What's your name again? I'm Lisa. Lisa, what's your last name? What is your name? What's your name? Well, I asked I'm first, Lisa. Crime, what's your sir. name, sir? Robert. What's your last name, sir? What is your first name, sir? I, I don't, I'm not answering, I'm not talking to you. You're talking to me. I'm asking you the questions. Well, we're not doing anything illegal. Neither am I. Well, actually, yes, you are. are actually really? Property. Oh, okay, well then, call the cops. We will do Lisa and Robert. Yeah. I'll be right here. Okay, thank you so Bye. I would honestly say that both are kind of a little bit in the wrong here because, I mean, the guy recording could have just simply said that, yeah, this is my house. This is where I live. I own this property. And this probably would have concluded the entire thing, but instead he decides to be very vague about it, not directly say that he lives here to the Karen. So it continues the entire fight for no good reason. I don't feel like this Karen's been inherently racist. Just more concerned like, hey, I appreciate what you're doing, but hey, uh, is this your property? Because you're kind of defacing it if you're doing this. I don't know. It's very... I feel like the simplest way to deal with it is just say that, hey, I live here and we could have moved on with our day. Here we have by far one of the most craziest interactions I've seen so far. Here, so basically what happened beforehand is this guy in his truck was pulling into this private car park. As he's pulling into this car park, this other person in the Mercedes decided to try and pull out and went extremely close to the truck, almost hitting them because it seems like they don't know how to quiet drive. Anyway, those people inside, the person inside the Mercedes quickly escalates this entire situation. Here's a clip. She just spit on my car now. You can see it leaking down. She's spitting on me. We hit. He's blocking my car. I'm not. He's literally blocking. You me. drove into me. Yeah. No, no. You drove you into drove me. Into the the front of your car hit yeah. mine. You're you, supposed to be on this side. You you drove into me. You on this side. You, it's a, side. you drove into me, ma'am. Ma'am, you, you drove are into me. Ma'am. You drove the front of your car into me. You put the front of your car into mine. I didn't move the back of my car into you. Stop right there in the middle of the road. Cause you almost hit me. Cause you almost hit me. Hurry up, come on. Hurry up, Called them. They're on their way. They're on their way. Just wait for the cops. Just wait for the cops. Move away from 
We're waiting for the cops. We don't need to. It's a private, it's private. We're not blocking traffic. Yeah, this, this is private. No, either does the city though. Just wait for the cops. Just wait for the cops. Look how far you are. Wait for the cops. Just wait for the cops. You started driving at me, so I stopped. You can't drive for shit. Started driving at me, so I stopped. You can't drive for shit. You drove the front of your car into mine. You're supposed to be on this side. You drove the front of your car into mine. Here's the cops. Here's the cops. Stop recording me. Well, I'm pressing Stop charges now. Me. I'm pressing Stop charges me. now. Stop. You can't press charges. I'm pressing charges. You're recording me without my permission, bitch. Uh, it's illegal. I'll do whatever I want. Knock it off. Press. Yep. Stop recording me, bitch. Stop recording me, bitch. Stop you just hit my phone. Stop recording me, bitch. Stop recording me, bitch. You just hit my phone. She just spit on me. She hit my phone. She hit my car. Right, this thing already. Hold on, hold on. Let me put my phone in my pocket. Let me put my phone in my pocket. Stop. Bruh, he's bruh. This is it. How are you gonna arrest Stop. me? Stop. You're not bro? under arrest right now. Bro. How are you gonna arrest me? Bro, I got places to be. Bro, I got places to be. Fuck your arm, bruh. Bruh, he can't record me. Bruh, he's bruh. 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 Bruh, he's bruh.
and I'm gonna record this whole thing. Is there any reason? Is there any reason? No, no. I'm gonna wait till the police get here because it doesn't give her a right to follow you down the street. That's that's not right. I said, ma'am, go about your business. I said, never mind because you closed the door in my face. And I said, it's about the net metering program. Look but how that's rude okay. people is out here. I said, but that's okay. It's about the it's net there. metering program. That's fine. You close the door in my face. I'm not gonna sit here and try to talk to you. Yeah. If you close the door as I'm walking up to your door. Don't worry about that. That's, and then it. as I'm walking off, she no, decides she wanted to send idle threats and do all of that other stuff and tell me, you gonna follow me. I feel threatened. And I didn't even call the police. Well, call the police. If she called the police, you call too. You have to call too. I got it on camera. Okay. Just I'm call, to call too now. and say this lady follow you down the street and you feel threatened for your life. She doesn't have a no trespassing. She doesn't have a no solicitor sign. And I'm out here doing you my job and let them know that she threatened her, let threaten you with the dog. And your canvases team is still out here. What, what was the reason why you follow her down the street? Because she came in my yard. Do you have a no trespassing sign? No. But she Do you have a no soliciting sign? Asked her question. But, that, but that, you that were rude. Right That's rude. Why is she it's not illegal. Like that? It's not exactly. illegal. Exactly. It's an answer my question of why she came in my yard. I said it has to do with the next meeting program, but since you slammed the door, you don't have a no trespassing sign. That doesn't give you a right to follow people down the street. Well, that doesn't they give you a right. Picture. So, she's talk, so she's talking about the spotty of that. I got it on Bro, she's talking about the spotty of She doesn't know why you talk. Listen, that doesn't give you the right. 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 You're prejudiced. And I say door marketer mainly because to best describe the current situation. She is a person going from door to door to talk about a certain thing. It's what it is. It's door marketing. But th that's the weirdest shit I've ever seen. Just like to th th after someone knocks on your door, you slam the door on them and they choose to walk away after that. You attempt to ask them questions after they've already walked away from you. And then you follow them in your car. I, what are you? Are you a fucking psychopath or something? Like who the fuck? does that regardless of anything who the hell just follows someone in a car whilst they're going from door to door doing typical marketing shenanigans like well, what's the point of doing that what are you trying what are you trying to do here like it's a genuine question like what in this next clip we have a karen whose order was done wrong so instead of just politely asking for it to be corrected has lost her nutter over it you you're fucking loud you're being rude right now yeah because they still don't they I would have been gone, but she said to go, and he didn't give you order. Okay, you're spilling stuff everywhere now. You know what? I'm gonna spill it on you. Do it. Excuse see what the fuck you. Happens. Do it. And see Please. what the fuck happens. You could have been minding your own business. No, I'm sorry. You announced it to everybody. You don't need to insult people. You were the one who decided. Your friend decided to leave in. You remember that? Oh, yeah, I do because she was standing up for people because he didn't do anything wrong. Because he didn't fucking do the job. Okay. You know what? I will pay for your food for you to get the fuck out. God. You don't need to talk to her like that either. Should I call the police? Like, I think that would be helpful. I think it's so fucking difficult to put the liquid into the container and they're fucking. Maybe you should get a hamburger next time. Hey, you should leave. Thank you. Bye. Of course, it isn't a Karen archetype without the racism. Oh my god. In this clip here, we've got a pair of workers who are just arguing with each other for some reason or another, going on a bit of a tiffy about something to do with work i'm assuming maybe not maybe they're just arguing because they hate each other who knows either way one of the customers is making makes an attempt to get assistance in the midst of this Yeah, you want to 
Hey, yo, real quick, though, while y'all having y'all conversations. Appreciate it, my boy. It's all too. Yeah, this too. I mean, at least the the staff when asked actually did do help did help the customer a little bit by at least pointing to the direction they need to go. Usually, you'd want to actually take them to the thing because you know they might not quite understand where you're referencing yada yada yada. But I suppose you're too distracted in the argument that you're in the midst of in order to actually do that properly. My guess is there's probably no manager around or anything because I would be surprised if there was a manager or some boss around that they never stepped in to attempt to stop this because it's just kind of a bad look to have your two employees who are at the front just arguing and screaming at each other like that. <laughs> Doesn't exactly create a... A welcoming atmosphere for people to come and do their shopping in. Here we have a DoorDash deliverer who just received a violation because apparently they failed to deliver food to one of their customers. So they decided to go back to the place where this food was apparently not delivered to, only to find the food was still sitting at the front door. Here's a clip. This bitch here's still gonna tell DoorDash she never got her food. Bitch, I had to come back because what the f is this? Kirsten? Yes. Why you said you never got your food on DoorDash? Uh, no, they literally gave me a violation on my account no, because the food that. never got delivered. I'll correct it. I'll, 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 like, I'll clearly see since you knock on the door since 8 p.m. Right when I ordered that, I did not. I knocked, like, I just dropped off like two orders and then came back. No, I did. I, I swear to God. I swear to oh God, I did not leave any type of violation. Okay, I, well, why y'all got the food in the side? Because I was asleep. I mean, like. Okay, like, well, yeah. Literally, as soon as I left, it said. Okay, okay. No, I'll leave it. I'll, I'll believe you. <laughs> or whatever. But, like, literally, like, I was asleep. Like, we didn't leave no matter review, no nothing like that. I'm not. Okay, well, they already gave me the violation. So, that's what I'm saying. I told them that you did get the food. Okay. So, if they ask you or something, you need to let yeah. them know that you have it. No, I will. I will. Yeah, okay. I swear. Thank you. The fuck? Wow, I mean, it's just one of those things where, it just, it, like, some people just don't care. They're just like, oh, I can get my money back by saying the food's not delivered and the food can still be out there. Or maybe it is a genuine stuff up and just like, oh, I didn't think of, I didn't hear the knock on the door. I didn't think of checking out the door. It doesn't, like, actually, no, I know it does because I've used DoorDash before about, like, half a year, a year ago. Like, it's been a while since I've last used it. But, you know, wouldn't you be watching that app? like a hawk so you know where your meal is in this delivery process so like oh yep it's here they're pretty much here let's go to the door to make sure that I can grab it immediately so I can have the food that I ordered because I'm hungry like was she just not watching the app or did she just not actually care so when it was claimed to have been delivered she didn't even bother checking she's like oh I can get a refund by saying actually it's uh not delivered but then why is it still out the front door and over over an hour later it just seems really stupid to also do that like what, what what's the point of getting your money back but also not taking your food when it's there and has been delivered what in this next clip we have somebody who's seemingly having a pretty poor day and is taking it out on other people dude if you're not yo yo if you're not having a good day then leave him alone all right it's not his fault that you're having a bad day. Yo. Yo. Hey. Listen. It's not his fault. It's not his fault that you're having a bad day. All right. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Okay. I'm walking away. All right. I hope you have a better day. All right. And you shut the fuck up. Yo, leave him alone, alright? 